Hello guys, it's Fisher Penguins here, and today I'm trying out a little bit of a different format. Basically, this area I'm recording in um, used to have a butt ton of books in it, but I've literally just put all the books out and I've sorted them all out. And yeah, I may maybe using this place to store some more Lego sets or possibly you know use it as a recording space. But for now, because it's empty, um, I'm going to use it as a recording space because it's uh, kind of enclosed. So if I uh, use this uh, lamp I've got here, it's kind of a effective where it only provides that light um, but yeah anyway let's get on with this uh, overview so I've got all uh, the four sets here with um, I didn't put all the minifigures in because it would just clog it up so I'll just put the one of each uh, minifigure apart from obviously the Imperial one because they're all the same but I put one of each um, basically yeah, I put one of each minifigure in the set so uh, for uh, this one there's another one there's two types but for this one it's only this guy so I'm pretty much going to generally have a little talk over them, my ratings, you know, which ones do I like, which ones do I don't. You probably already know if you've already watched the reviews. Um, but anyway, I'm going to start with them. Um, just going to generally go over each one and give my uh, general opinion, because if you don't watch the kind of uh, pros and cons at the end of my videos, you probably don't know this, but I'll probably say uh, this um, one here, the Senate Commander Troops one, I'll probably say this is probably my second favourite battle pack. It's really awesome. Uh, the minifigures you get are really cool. I mean, the Senate Commando guys. I've got some more spare down here, so yeah, it's really awesome figures. Really awesome printing, kind of new design and stuff. Yeah, really, really do love the figures. I mean, I've been wanting to get some of these um, Senate Commando troops for ages, but. Um, just pretty much, you know, they haven't, Lego haven't put them in a lot of sets, if any, um, up until obviously the this point. So yeah, I'll probably say yeah, that's really cool. The Gatling guns in the video, I really really love that feature. Uh, the turret looks really cool as well. Um, and yeah, I'll probably say that one is probably the second best battle pack to get. Um, if you're kind of thinking of buying a battle pack, definitely highly recommend this one. Next one here is the Shadow Trooper battle pack. I incorrectly called it the Death Star Trooper Battle Pack in the review of this. By the way, I put them in order of the order I, review, I reviewed them in. And in my honest opinion, I'll say this Battle Pack here is probably the worst one. I probably would recommend getting it last if you're kind of going in order or are only getting one or two at a time. I'll definitely recommend uh, leaving this one till later if you're on a restriction budget or for whatever reasons. If you're thinking of only buying a few or, you know, not buying all of them. But I, usually when battle packs come out, if I tend to buy all the battle packs that come out. Unless, you know, I don't really know where they're from. Like, there was a Star Wars The Old Republic battle pack out there a couple of years ago, and I haven't played that game, so I didn't get it. But I pretty much get, always get all the battle packs, because they're really good. Uh, just the price of them and the min and the minifigures you get in them are really cool. So, yeah. I'll probably say the set, like, it's, it's, it's the worst battle pack, because it has the worst minifigures and the worst actual build my opinion usually sets with like this they have like, this random speeder they just put in like a really generic kind of random speeder just to put in there you know, put just to, so they have to because um they can't just give you minifigures they have to give you a buildable thing to but it's really not to any you're not going to use it in any way probably unlike the other three here you could probably use them but with this it's really just it just isn't very good the minifigures, don't get me wrong, they're not bad, but they're not, they don't scream out at me as amazing or must have figures. Um, as I said in the video, I definitely would have preferred if you get one of each of these figures maybe in another set, maybe the uh, Imperial Star Destroyer that came out, um, instead of this being its battle pack, because battle packs are mainly meant for army building or getting really common figures cheaply so you can get lots of them. But um, yeah, in my opinion, just the worst battle pack. I really also. I probably would say I actually generally don't like this figure. I don't like its weapon. I don't really like. I prefer the red Palpatine guard and the kind of half staff, half like saber does look a bit retarded. Although the shadow trooper is quite cool, but nothing to be ranting and raving out about. Um, and uh, onto this one, the Imperial um, troopers. I can't remember the exact name of this set, but it's something like the Imperial troopers one. I'll probably say this is the best battle pack of this wave. Um, of course, you get the new Star Wars Rebels stormtroopers. So if you're not really bothered about not getting movie accurate stormtroopers, then I definitely recommend getting this set. You get four 
um, just average stormtroopers, you know, you may think they're a bit boring, but getting four stormtroopers is always good, you know, if you want to build up your stormtrooper collection. Um, if there's like the generic infantry, so like a generic clone or a generic droid or a generic rebel, always really good to get because you can never have enough, uh, enough of those if you want to build an army or just in general I really like having multiples of really um, common infantry so this set is really good for that and also the build itself it's really really nice I really do like this because um, it's actually seen quite a lot in the in the Rebels animated TV series so um, yeah it is really useful in that aspect and um, I like um, I just generally like the set as well it's really useful you can put a troop on each side and you can kind of in stop motions you can use it to kind of wheel stormtroopers into battle not wheel but you know what I mean you can kind of use it to get the stormtroopers into the battlefield and it will look really nice and generally it's just and it's the only set here that it, that um, um surpasses the 10 people piece thing all of these are about 100 pieces each whereas this one is about 141 so definitely um, great in terms of piece count and then just in general, I think it's the best value for money one. And last but not least, the Geonosian uh, Troopers Backpack, I think it's called. This is my third favourite. It's not bad. I would honestly, I would honestly say um, these three are really good battle packs. And I would honestly say this one is a bad battle pack. Um, this one isn't bad. It's just, in my opinion, it's not, it doesn't really um, stand out um, to me that much. I honestly would. I don't know. I'd... I don't know why I don't like it that much. I think it's just because I really like turrets. And uh, walkers are usually quite generic and you do get them quite a lot. So it's not really anything that amazes me too much. Uh, don't get me wrong, the walkers are really cool. It's got the Gatling gun on it again. Um, uh, yeah, and uh, another thing is uh, these airborne troopers. I've got another one down here. These airborne trooper guys. Um, honestly, not a fan. Um... I would have preferred it, so as I said in the video, I would have preferred if the distribu distribution in the set was one of these guys and three of just the normal Genosian um, clones. Because I I really do love these uh, Genosian clones. They look really awesome. And I would have loved if you got more, one extra of those instead of the airborne ones. Because the airborne ones, are my, in my personal opinion, I'm not a massive fan of them. I don't think they look that great. I definitely do prefer just the generic clone. And um, yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. Um, uh, please like and subscribe if you liked um, this kind of battle pack series. Of course, the new battle packs will be coming out in January, so I'll definitely be getting those. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to find out what they are, because um, I really love battle packs, guys. They're pretty much uh, my favourite sets, because you just get really cool figures in them. And uh, I'm a massive minifigure fan. I love... Sometimes I literally buy really expensive sets just for the minifigures. It's really bad, I know. Uh, I still also still obviously buy them for the set, but if like a really big set, it's like hundred pounds or something. Um, it definitely persuades me if it has good minifigures in it. Um, but uh, some sets I do get generally for the set. But some I literally get and I like them. The sets are okay, but the minifigures are amazing, so I kind of have to get this. But before I go on any further, um, I think I'm going to end the video here. Um, I do I really did did uh, really enjoy coming kind of you know getting back into the Lego review swing of things. Next, or soon, I've got um, a review of this lined up, the LEGO City Glider set. It's a really um, uncommon set, so I'm really, really excited to reviewing that, because I don't know if many um, kind of big LEGO reviewers like Jang, Bricks, and Bricks Show, and people like that, I don't know if they've actually reviewed it, so yeah, it could really, you know, be popular, so. And uh, I did buy it in Poland, so it was a bit random, but <laughs> anyway, uh, please like and subscribe, and for the actual, um, <laughs> I'm actually going to say goodbye this time. You know, not say goodbye and start a whole new segment, but goodbye and uh, see you later.